get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire, I think we should go with fireman because he's going to keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. No billionaire. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. There was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey, that's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girl. No! What do you know? It works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. Wait. We don't want to try out your machine. Yeah. It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But, sir, we only adopted them because... That's enough, doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please. You don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes. I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him, too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, Dad. Dad? <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Shh. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab, and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait we... a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait! Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid! What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? 
Hello, nice to meet you, Morlina. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? You were right. She is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <gasps> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go. Come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad... I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Princess, shut up. So, what did your future say? It said that I'm going to become a princess. Well, hun, it's true. What? You know how I've been dating this guy? Yeah. He asked me to marry him last night. Well, Mom, I'm really happy for you, but what does that have to do with me being a princess? <laughs> well, it turns out that he's, um, a king. So once I marry him, you and I will be... Royalty. I'm gonna be a princess. Come on, you have to meet his kids. I'd like you to meet my son and daughter, Luke and Lacey. Hello. Hi. Are you seriously not even gonna curtsy? Oh, was I supposed to? Um, duh. Hey, honey, next time curtsy, okay? Otherwise, it's very disrespectful. My kids can be a bit harsh on new guests, but they will warm up to you. We are not letting her become our new stepsister. Definitely not. I think it's time for a little sabotage. They're gonna try and change my future. They're trying to change my future. Why are you looking at me like that? I heard what you guys were saying. 
Oh yeah, what'd we say? That you were gonna try and sabotage our parents' wedding, and I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm sorry. Things have been rough since our mom passed. We shouldn't have said- Hey, it's okay. I understand. Things have been pretty hard for me too. Your dad passed away, huh? Yeah. We shouldn't have tried to plot against you. How about we call it a truce, okay? Hey, wanna play a game? Okay. Cool, let's say our biggest fears. You go first. Mine is snakes. Oh, you don't like snakes, huh? Interesting. This is what you get for spying on our conversation. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Sweetheart, breakfast is ready. <gasps> a fake snake, really? We're sorry, Daddy. We were just playing. We didn't mean any harm. You're grounded. Sophia, please accept my apology gift. <coughs> you got her a puppy? Yes, and I hope it makes up for the scare you two caused her. Thank you, Your Majesty. Of course. She gets a puppy and we get grounded? So not fair. Well, I think my future is secured as a princess. Wait, what? Hey, Sophia, do you think you could help me clean my room? I think my future is secured as a princess. Wait, what? Hey, Sophia, do you think you could help me clean my room? I know what you're trying to do. What? You're trying to make me your maid. How did you- Did your future change? Yeah, it did. Haven't you two seen the movie Cinderella? Do you really want to be known as the evil step-siblings? We're not evil. We're just trying to make our new stepsister useful. I'm telling our parents. If you try and tell them, I'll make our dad call off the wedding. Our parents are in love. It'll crush them. We know. So we suggest you keep your mouth shut. All you gotta do is agree to do whatever we say, and... We won't stand in the way of our parents' wedding. Come on, you don't want to be the reason they break up. You guys promise you won't sabotage their marriage? Kinky swear. So, do we have a deal or not? Fine. Yay! Now hand me the puppy. Now get to cleaning. You can start with my room first. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Me either. Nice try, you're not gonna fool me again. We're being for real, we feel sick. <gasps> Help! <laughs> nice acting, I'm not falling for that anymore. <laughs> no, seriously, something's wrong. <sighs> I can't breathe. I think we're having an allergic reaction. Oh my gosh, who would do this? Me. These brats have been nothing but rude to me my whole time here. So today I made them a special meal. Look, I know they're not the nicest, but you can't do this. They will die. It is too late for them now. No, they have to have an EpiPen or something. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to find it in time. Oh! The puppy brought me this. Is this... That's our medicine. You have to inject us with it. Uh. Oh. Your Majesty, are they going to be okay? Yes, they're going to be all right. I cannot thank you enough. Mom, you look amazing. Oh, honey, thank you. I'm so nervous to walk down the aisle. Well, don't be. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey. Could we talk to you for a sec? Sure. We wanted to say thank you for saving us. And we want to offer you something for the future in return. I was supposed to be next in line for the throne, but I want to give it to you. You guys, really, I can't accept. Please, it's the least we can do. Yeah, I mean, you saved our lives, even after we treated you like trash. We're so sorry, and we think you'll make a great queen. We promise to treat you like our sister now. So deal? Okay, deal. Your test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes! Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. <laughs> Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a... Okay, hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? 
Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times two, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you nine. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably... Watch it, Crystal. Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ah. Oh. Ow. Oh. Hello? Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no. Um, just... Oh. Just hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Help. Oh my gosh. Crystal, here. You have to take this. Are you feeling alright now? Yeah, much better. Good. But about the pills... If you stop taking them, you... You what? You... You die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm, I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called that? <clears throat> That's why. Just one more kill and you're rid of me. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kind of cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachments. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, bam, he's dead. Think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. What's your name? My name is, <clears throat> uh, are you always this articulate? <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just I wish we could go somewhere a little more alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah. One sec. Cheers to, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! To, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! What? Your drink, it, it has a bug in it. No, don't. And that ruined my carpet? You'll, you'll thank me later. It's alright, I've been meaning to redo this place anyways. So you've been single for a while now. Yeah. Huh, you know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen, I, I get why you feel like that, but I want you to know I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before I... So you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. You remember the obedience necklace, right? <laughs> Don't make me use it. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll, I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? 
Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run. Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands! If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget that. Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch? Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never going to have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're... Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. A what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's got to stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... you stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Kara? <laughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah. No shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra. An organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's day? <laughs> <gasps> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. 
Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you? You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but she'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth, you're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart? Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying! No, it's- One, two, three, It's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening?
Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that it wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate? I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's... a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh, Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is- A peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked... Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmate's clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, Mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, Mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming- There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say, I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I- I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us! Good morning. Mother, about last night- Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's all right. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. 
ready for your day. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. <laughs> I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You picked Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too? Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's... Dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. 
Miss, would you be interested in this one? She's in desperate need of a foster mom. No one wants to foster her. Why not? Because she does things like... Like that. I'd be willing to care for her. But I want double the pay. Deal. I'm going to work. Waffles are in the freezer. What is her deal? Why is she always staring at me? She needs to get a life. Hey, that's not nice. Huh? I didn't say anything, you freak! Guys, her label's appearing. <gasps> freak! I knew it! Excuse me, are you Vanessa Hart? Code 22? I need you to come with me. Please, let me out. Don't bother. The glass is soundproof. I didn't even see you there. Most people don't. What's your name? My name's Casey. I've been here for a long time. Your label, it's the same as mine. Yep, I have a power. So where are we? A lab owned by a man named Damien. He's obsessed with kids like us. What's your power? Well, I have, um, telepathy, telekinesis, and- Hold on, you have more than one? Yeah, why? Because that's- They're coming. Who's coming? The boss wants to see you. Good luck. Hello, Vanessa. I've been looking for you. Your powers won't work in this room. Don't worry. You'll be using them shortly. I'll prepare her for testing. What? No! Subject is Vanessa Hart, age 16, and it looks like her birthday is tomorrow. I'll get you a gift if you're a good listener today. I'm turning 17 tomorrow, not 7. Feisty! If you don't behave, though, there's consequences. I know you have three powers, and one of them is telepathy. That's your foster mom. Tell me where she is. What do you see? I see water. And I see trees. She's at a beach. Excellent. Yes, we had her sent on a little vacation. I'll get her hooked up to the machine, boss. This is amazing. Telekinesis is such a cool power. I want to see her lift something heavier. I want you to lift this 500 pound weight. No, I can't. I need to see how strong you are. Do it. She's lifting it. Okay, enough. Uh, boss, her nose. She's fine. Casey? Vanessa, I was really worried about you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm feeling better all of a sudden. How did that happen? I used my powers on you. I healed you. <sighs> You did? Yeah, my power is healing, and you look like you needed some help. Thanks, no one's ever been so- Happy birthday, Vanessa. Come with me. I have a surprise for you. Okay, let's see you. Wow, what do you think, Mason? She looks great, sir. I got you some food. You can eat. Go ahead. Does it taste good? See, Vanessa, it's not so bad here. I can take care of you. You see, you have three powers, which makes you one of a kind. And together, we can make such a good team. I could become your new parent. <gasps> Were you in my head? They're here. Vanessa, wait! Mom. Dad. Your powers won't work on that. It's protected. Open the door. Vanessa, hey, listen. You know I can't do that. <gasps> Mason, the lights! Turn on the lights! <clears throat> yes, sir. Sorry, Vanessa. Come on, make me something good. A penguin and a backpack? No freaking way! I love this! I got a magic wallet that gives me money. That is so cool. I know, right? What'd you get? I got a penguin backpack, but I don't really know what it does yet. I'm gonna go get some food. See you. Okay, bye. Man, I really wish I had some water. Whoa, is it just me or did this thing get heavier? No way, there is like a bunch of waters in here. This backpack must grant wishes. Okay, let's just test this again. I wish for a hundred dollars in twenties. This is amazing. I'm home. 
Listen, what enough of what? I, I can't talk happy. to people! I, I wish for some headphones. What a fuck? Oh, come. Hey, sis, what's this? Aren't you kind of old to have a stuffed animal backpack? Give it back. Wait a minute, what's inside of here? Hey, how'd you get all this money? Did you steal this money? No, it was my magic gift. It grants me wishes. Yeah, right, prove it. All right, I wish for a necklace. Nothing happened. I must have to be holding on to it for it to work. Nice try. I know you're stealing money. You probably think you're so cool, but you're not. Ugh. Oh, yeah? How about now, Benson? That's it. Where are you? I wish to be at a friend's house. I really hope you can do that. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Oh, hey, Chad. Uh, how, how'd you get in here? Uh, your back door was open. Sweet. I was wondering if you wanted to come to prom with me. Yeah. I gotta check on something. Be right back. Okay. He asked me to prom, but I don't even have a dress. Wait. I wish for a red dress that's kind of fitted, but not too fitted. You know what I mean, Penguin. Just work your magic. Oh my gosh, yes, this is perfect. I should also wish for some accessories and... Hey, there's some cops in the front of my house, and they say they're looking for you. Hey, Mr. Toad, sorry I'm late. Better be the last time, Red. Hey, Goldilocks. Okay. Psst, Jill, where's Jack? Who? Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, your brother Jack. Yeah, like Jack and Jill went up the hill? Huh? That's not my story. You don't remember your own brother? Goldie, Red, no talking. That was weird, even for Jill. Right? How does she not remember her own brother? Hey, Humpty Dumpty, have you seen Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk? No, like Jack and Jill. He's your best friend. Huh? I'm not friends with anyone named Jack. That's really weird how no one else remembers Jack. Hey, is that Bo Peep? I've never seen her without her sheep. Hey, Bo Peep, where are your sheep? <laughs> sheep? You guys are silly. I don't have any sheep. I'm starting to think it's not just Jack who went missing. Mr. Toad's storybook characters are missing, and no one seems to remember them but us. Like who? Like Bo Peep and Jack. And Hansel doesn't even remember his sister Gretel. Who's Gretel? It's no use, Goldilocks. We're the only ones that remember. Meet me at the Storybrook Library. We need to investigate. Goldie, look at this. Just as I thought, someone's blacking out the storybook characters. And they're completely disappearing from their stories. This has one person written all over it. Cruella. Cruella, we know you're here. Well, well, it looks like we have visitors. <sighs> Down boy, can I get you two anything? How about a nice warm fur coat? I'm vegan. Even after the wolf incident? All right. Well, then what do you two want? To know why you're making storybook characters disappear. <laughs> it's not funny. You're erasing their stories. I would never. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? And you're not supposed to take books from the library. Get the hell out of here. Do you believe her? No, not for a second. Maybe your granny can help us get the book back. I don't have a grandma. No, Red, not you two. Come with me, we're fixing this right now. You two are back. Yes, we brought you some porridge to apologize to. You. I made sure the bears made it just right. Mm. Are those ink stains on your fingers? All right, you caught me, but there's nothing you can do. Soon, darlings, only the villain characters will remain. <laughs> you underestimated the girls who fought wild animals and won. What? What was in this porridge? There. All the ink has been erased. Red? Granny! Oh, Red, is it really you? Hey, look, it's Jack! And little Bo Peep and her sheep. All the storybook characters are reappearing. We did it! I think we should take this book to the Blue Fairy so she can put a protection spell on it so this will never happen again. Good idea. Here you go. Happy birthday! A poppet? Really? How old do you guys think I am? Six? Stop complaining. You're lucky you got something. Thanks, guys, for my new bike. It's not even her birthday. So what? It doesn't matter. Don't be so spoiled. Yeah! This sucks. Congratulations, you completed the pink row. Power unlocked. I think I've officially lost it. Uh, I want my water bottle, but it's so far away. What? So this is real, and I actually have telekinesis? Hmm. Hey, loser, come watch me play with my toy. Okay. Look, it's flying! No! Oh, no! <laughs> Let's see what power the second row will give me. You have completed the second pink row. New power unlocked. This is going to be interesting. 
<laughs> Jeez, do you knock? Mom wants you to wash the dog, weirdo. <laughs> okay, little bud, it's time for a bath. No, no, absolutely not. I will not take a bath. Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. I'm sorry, Fluffy, but I got to. You, you really smell. Says you. See, now don't you feel so much better? No, but I do now. Hey, go check on your pet. Okay. <laughs> guys, guys, bring it up. Tell your dumb cat that baths are not good. Yes, they are. Look, I'll even prove it to you. No, Chubbs, wait. <laughs> Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored, colored pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what, what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's Mom? She's outside with Coco, giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when Mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, Mom. I'm just a baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages? Well, this'll be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst. Hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm going to go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. How old did you say you were again? Seventeen. I'm throwing a party tonight. Want to come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencils' power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. This isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have, like, a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? 
Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dum-dum, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie, you're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. A free! Congrats! You got three wishes. Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie. Uh, okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. No wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil. I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it. All right, all right. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh, I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. I didn't mean that. Hmm. No, listen, that doesn't count. Come on, turn her back. Sorry, I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Jeannie, come on, just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only going to have one wish left. Look who can do math, yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for text? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. All right, you got it, kid. I know what to do. I've decided I wish for a voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now and um, see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tag, you're it! Pencil selected. Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich. I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now. But instead, I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today, I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it, is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here! So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic, and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if... Tom Holland picked me up from school today? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye! I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, Mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you- My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool! Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling Mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh, yeah? Well, watch what I'm going to do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No. Lily, where did she just go? 
Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now, or you're grounded. Or I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it. <gasps> hey, this thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, Mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again. Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. <laughs> hey. Go away! Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want? And I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? Alright, fine. But we gotta hurry, because we only have like five minutes left. Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait. Let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even gonna notice. I said no! You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions and I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please, just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> You must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! <sighs> now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Ugh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you doll face, because you're cute. 
What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me, I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Did you finish your chores, darling? Yes. So did I. You know what that means. Twenty dollars. All right. Your first allowance. We want to teach you to work for your money. Mom? Dad? We wanted to take Bunny to the park for a bit. Sure. Just be careful. We will. Peekaboo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of fire trucks. I just got ten million in my bank account. I was just gonna say. Yeah, so did I. We need to go home. Something's wrong. No. What happened? What does it look like? Your house burnt down. But what about our parents? Your parents didn't make it. I'm sorry. Um, uh... Someone's gonna take you in. Who? A distant relative. Your aunt, Octavia. Hello, children. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Uh, hi? Such a shame what happened. I'm just so glad your money is safe. I mean, you're safe. <laughs> ah. Thank you, officers. I promise to take excellent care of them. Now, both of you, give me your money. <coughs> you scared her. Oh, did I? Let me see her. Hey! Shh, shh. There, there. Give her back. <coughs> no, no. Not until you transfer your funds to me. Violet, you go first, since you're the oldest. Okay. It says air. <sighs> Oh yeah, our funds are locked until we're 18. You're right, plus she hasn't officially adopted us yet. I will have to be getting those adoption papers, but until then... What is this? A list of chores for around the house, and if you don't complete them, you'll never see your baby sister again. You can't do this! We have to get out of here. I know, I'll think of something. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know, I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He, he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me... Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're gonna work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. 
Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah. I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice- Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone alright? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom, I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh, hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny. I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor! He has amnesia! Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him. Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy. But he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. <laughs> yeah, you know what, would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any- Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy! I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card! You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never... Mommy, 
Where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> daddy. Jason, I knew you'd come back. Good morning. How did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. No, go get...